In electromagnetism and electronics, inductance describes the tendency of an electrical conductor, such as coil, to oppose a change in the electric current through it. The change in current induces a reverse electromotive force voltage. When an electric current flows through a conductor, it creates a magnetic field around that conductor. A changing current, in turn, creates a changing magnetic field, the surface integral of which is known as magnetic flux. From Faraday's law of induction, any change in magnetic flux through a circuit induces an electromotive force voltage across that circuit, a phenomenon known as electromagnetic induction. Inductance L display style L is defined as the ratio between this induced voltage V display style V and the rate of change of the current I T display style I T in the circuit L equals minus V D I D T minus one V equals minus L D I D T Display style L equals V left D over D T right carrot minus one right arrow V equals L D over D T this proportionality factor L does not depend on electromagnetical quantities, but depends only on the geometric setting of the conductors and the material properties of the regions crossed by the fields. The voltage created is actually self-induced when the magnetic field of a current-carrying conductor acts back on the conductor itself. From Lenz's law, this induced voltage, or back EMF, will be in a direction so as to oppose the change in current which created it. Thus, self-inductance measures the property of a specific geometric arrangement of a conductor which opposes any change in current through the conductor. An inductor is the electrical component which adds inductance to a circuit. It typically consists of a coil or helix of wire. The term inductance was coined by Oliver Heaviside in 1886. It is customary to use the symbol L display style L for inductance in honor of the physicist Heinrich Lenz. In the SI system, the unit of inductance is the Henry H, which is the amount of inductance which causes a voltage of 1 volt when the current is changing at a rate of 1 ampere per second. It is named for Joseph Henry, who discovered inductance independently of Faraday. Topic. History The history of electromagnetic induction, a facet of electromagnetism, began with observations of the ancients, electric charge or static electricity rubbing silk on amber, electric current lightning, and magnetic attraction lodestone. Understanding the unity of these forces of nature, and the scientific theory of electromagnetism began in the late 18th century. Electromagnetic induction was first described by Michael Faraday in 1831. In Faraday's experiment, he wrapped two wires around opposite sides of an iron ring. He expected that, when current started to flow in one wire, a sort of wave would travel through the ring and cause some electrical effect on the opposite side. Using a galvanometer, he observed a transient current flow in the second coil of wire each time that a battery was connected or disconnected from the first coil. This current was induced by the change in magnetic flux that occurred when the battery was connected and disconnected. Faraday found several other manifestations of electromagnetic induction. For example, he saw transient currents when he quickly slid a bar magnet in and out of a coil of wires, and he generated a steady DC current by rotating a copper disc near the bar magnet with a sliding electrical lead. Faraday's disc Topic. Source of inductance A current I Display style I 
flowing through a conductor generates a magnetic field around the conductor, which is described by Ampere's circuital law. If the magnetic field is uniform across and perpendicular to the area bounded by the circuit, the total magnetic flux through a circuit phi display style phi is equal to the product of the magnitude of the magnetic field and the area of the surface spanning the current path. If the current varies, the magnetic flux phi display style phi through the circuit changes. By Faraday's law of induction, any change in flux through a circuit induces an electromotive force EMF or voltage V display style V in the circuit proportional to the rate of change of flux V T equals minus D phi T D T Display style V T equals D phi T over D T. The negative sign in the equation indicates that the induced voltage is in a direction which opposes the change in current that created it. This is called Lenz's law. The potential is therefore called a back EMF. If the current is increasing, the voltage is positive at the end of the conductor through which the current enters and negative at the end through which it leaves, tending to reduce the current. If the current is decreasing, the voltage is positive at the end through which the current leaves the conductor, tending to maintain the current. Self-inductance, usually just called inductance, L display style L is the ratio between the induced voltage and the rate of change of the current. V T equals L D I D T one display style V T equals L D over D T Q quad Q quad one. Thus, inductance is a property of a conductor or circuit due to its magnetic field, which tends to oppose changes in current through the circuit. The unit of inductance in the SI system is the Henry H, named after American scientist Joseph Henry, which is the amount of inductance which generates a voltage of 1 volt when the current is changing at a rate of 1 ampere per second. All conductors have some inductance, which may have either desirable or detrimental effects in practical electrical devices. The inductance of a circuit depends on the geometry of the current path, and on the magnetic permeability of nearby materials. Ferromagnetic materials with a higher permeability, like iron near a conductor, tend to increase the magnetic field and inductance. Any alteration to a circuit which increases the flux total magnetic field through the circuit produced by a given current increases the inductance, because inductance is also equal to the ratio of magnetic flux to current. L equals phi i i display style L equals phi i over i. An inductor is an electrical component consisting of a conductor shaped to increase the magnetic flux to add inductance to a circuit. Typically, it consists of a wire wound into a coil or helix. A coiled wire has a higher inductance than a straight wire of the same length, because the magnetic field lines pass through the circuit multiple times, it has multiple flux linkages. The inductance is proportional to the square of the number of turns in the coil. The inductance of a coil can be increased by placing a magnetic core of ferromagnetic material in the hole in the center. The magnetic field of the coil magnetizes the material of the core, aligning its magnetic domains, and the magnetic field of the core adds to that of the coil, increasing the flux through the coil. This is called a ferromagnetic core inductor. A magnetic core can increase the inductance of a coil by thousands of times. If multiple electric circuits are located close to each other, the magnetic field of one can pass through the other, in this case the circuits are said to be inductively coupled. Due to Faraday's law of induction, a change in current in one circuit can cause a change in magnetic flux in another circuit and thus induce a voltage in another circuit. 
The concept of inductance can be generalized in this case by defining the mutual inductance m l k display style m underscore l k of circuit l display style l and circuit k display style k as the ratio of voltage induced in circuit k display style k to the rate of change of current in circuit l display style l this is the principle behind a transformer with several secondaries the property describing the effect of one conductor on itself is more precisely called self-inductance, and the properties describing the effects of one conductor with changing current on nearby conductors are called mutual inductances. The notion of inductance is especially handy for dealing with discrete, concentrated components wires, coils, transformers at low frequencies. Electric circuits which are located sufficiently close together, so the magnetic field created by the current in one passes through the other, are said to be inductively coupled. A change in current in one circuit will cause the magnetic flux through the other circuit to vary, which will induce a voltage in the other circuit, by Faraday's law. The ratio of the voltage induced in the second circuit to the rate of change of current in the first circuit is called the mutual inductance. M display style m between the circuits it is also measured in the unit henry the sections below will describe self inductance the effect of inductance in a single conductor or circuit mutual inductance inductance between circuits is described in the section at the end topic self inductance and magnetic energy If the current through a conductor with inductance is increasing, a voltage V T style V T will be induced across the conductor with a polarity which opposes the current, as described above. This is in addition to any voltage drop caused by the conductor's resistance. The charges flowing through the circuit lose potential energy moving from the higher voltage to the lower voltage end. The energy from the external circuit required to overcome this potential hill is being stored in the increased magnetic field around the conductor. Therefore, any inductance with a current through it stores energy in its magnetic field. At any given time, T display style T the power P T display style P T flowing into the magnetic field which is equal to the rate of change of the stored energy u display style u is the product of the current i t display style i t and voltage v t display style v t across the conductor p t equals d u d t equals v t i t display style p t equals do over d t equals v t i t from 1 above d u d t equals L I I D I D T display style do over D T equals L I I D over D T D U equals L I I D I Display style do equals L I I D I. When there is no current, there is no magnetic field and the stored energy is zero. Neglecting resistive losses, the energy U 
display style u measured in joules in si stored by an inductance with a current i display style i through it is equal to the amount of work required to establish the current through the inductance from zero and therefore the magnetic field this is given by u equals 0 i l i i d i display style u equals int underscore 0 caret i l i i d i if the inductance l i display style l i is constant over the current range the stored energy is u equals l 0 i i d i display style u equals l int underscore 0 caret i i d i u equals 1 2 l i 2 display style u equals 1 over 2 li caret 2 so therefore inductance is also proportional to how much energy is stored in the magnetic field for a given current this energy is stored as long as the current remains constant if the current decreases the magnetic field will decrease inducing a voltage in the conductor in the opposite direction negative at the end through which current enters and positive at the end through which it leaves this will return stored magnetic energy to the external circuit. If ferromagnetic materials are located near the conductor, such as in an inductor with a magnetic core, the constant inductance equation above is only valid for linear regions of the magnetic flux, at currents below the level at which the ferromagnetic material saturates, where the inductance is approximately constant. If the magnetic field in the inductor approaches the level at which the core saturates, the inductance will begin to change with current, and the integral equation must be used. Topic. Inductive reactants When a sinusoidal alternating current AC is passing through a linear inductance, the induced back EMF will also be sinusoidal. If the current through the inductance is I T equals I P sin omega T display style I T equals I underscore P sin omega T from 1 above the voltage across it will be v t equals l d i d t equals l d d t i p sin omega t equals omega l i p cos omega t equals omega l i p sin omega t plus pi 2 Display style begin aligned V T and equals L D over D T equals L D over D T I underscore P sin omega T and equals omega L I underscore P cos omega T equals omega L I underscore P sin omega T plus pi over two end aligned where I P display style I underscore P is the amplitude peak value of the sinusoidal current in amperes omega equals two 2 pi f display style omega equals 2 pi f is the angular frequency of the alternating current with f display style f being its frequency in hertz and l display style l is the inductance 
Thus the amplitude peak value of the voltage across the inductance will be VP equals omega LIP equals 2 pi F LIP display style V underscore P equals omega LI underscore P equals 2 pi F LI underscore P inductive reactance is the opposition of an inductor to an alternating current. It is defined analogously to electrical resistance in a resistor, as the ratio of the amplitude peak value of the alternating voltage to current in the component XL equals VPIP equals 2 pi FL display style X underscore L equals V underscore P over I underscore P equals 2 pi Florida reactance has units of ohms. It can be seen that inductive reactance of an inductor increases proportionally with frequency. F display style F so an inductor conducts less current for a given applied AC voltage as the frequency increases because the induced voltage is greatest when the current is increasing the voltage and current waveforms are out of phase the voltage peaks occur earlier in each cycle than the current peaks the phase difference between the current and the induced voltage is phi equals pi 2 display style phi equals pi 2 radians are 90 degrees showing that in an ideal inductor the current lags the voltage by 90 degrees topic calculating inductance In the most general case, inductance can be calculated from Maxwell's equations. Many important cases can be solved using simplifications. Where high frequency currents are considered, with skin effect, the surface current densities and magnetic field may be obtained by solving the Laplace equation. Where the conductors are thin wires, self inductance still depends on the wire radius and the distribution of the current in the wire. This current distribution is approximately constant on the surface or in the volume of the wire for a wire radius much smaller than other length scales. Topic: Inductance of a straight single wire. A straight single wire has some inductance, which in our ordinary experience is intangible because it is negligibly small so it can't readily be measured at low frequencies, and its effect is not detectable. A long straight wire like an electric transmission line has substantial inductance that reduces its capacity, and there is no problem at all measuring it. As a practical matter, longer wires have more inductance, and thicker wires have less, analogous to their electrical resistance, though the relationships aren't linear nor are they the same relationships as those quantities bear to resistance. As an essential component of coils and circuits, understanding what the inductance of a wire is, is essential. Yet, there is no simple answer. There is no unambiguous definition of the inductance of a straight wire. If we consider the wire in isolation we ignore the question of how the current gets to the wire. That current will affect the flux which is developed in the vicinity of the wire. But this flux is a part of the definition. A consequence of Maxwell's equations is that we cannot define the inductance of only a portion of a circuit, we can only define the inductance of a whole circuit, which includes how the current gets to the wire and how it returns to the source. The magnetic flux incident to the whole circuit determines the inductance of the circuit and of any part of it. The magnetic flux is an indivisible entity, yet we wish to consider only a part of it, the part incident to the wire, between whatever we define to be the ends of the wire the total low frequency inductance internal plus external of a straight wire is l d c equals 2 l lane 2 l r minus 0.75 Display style L underscore DC equals two L C D O T left lane two L R minus zero point seven five right where L D C 
display style L underscore DC is the low frequency or DC inductance in nanohenries NH or 10 minus 9 H L display style L is the length of the wire in CM R display style R is the radius of the wire in CM this result is based on the assumption that the radius R display style R is much less than the length L display style L which is commonly true for sufficiently high frequencies skin effects cause the internal inductance to go to zero and the inductance becomes L A C equals 2 L lane 2 L R minus 1.00 Display style L underscore AC equals two L C D O T left lane two L R minus one point zero zero right C these inductances are often referred to as partial inductances to indicate that they must be used with care. In an everyday notion, one conductor of a 100 m 18 gauge lamp cord, stretched out straight, would have inductance of about 0.24 millihenries. Topic: <laughs> Mutual inductance of two parallel straight wires. There are two cases to consider, current travels in the same direction in each wire, and current travels in opposing directions in the wires. Currents in the wires need not be equal, though they often are, as in the case of a complete circuit, where one wire is the source and the other the return. Topic. Mutual inductance of two wire loops This is the generalized case of the paradigmatic two-loop cylindrical coil carrying a uniform low-frequency current. The loops are independent closed circuits that can have different lengths, any orientation in space, and carry different currents. Nonetheless, the error terms, which are not included in the integral will only be small if the geometries of the loops are mostly smooth and convex, they do not have too many kinks, sharp corners, coils, crossovers, parallel segments, concave cavities or other topological, close, deformations. A necessary predicate for the reduction of the three-dimensional manifold integration formula to a double curve integral is that the current paths be filamentary circuits, i.e. thin wires where the radius of the wire is negligible compared to its length. The mutual inductance by a filamentary circuit M display style M on a filamentary circuit N display style N is given by the double integral Newman formula L M N equals mu 0 4 pi C M C N D X M D X N X M minus X N display style L underscore M N equals frac mu underscore zero four pi oint underscore C underscore M oint underscore C underscore N frac D math BF X underscore M C D O T D math BF X underscore N math BF X underscore M math BF X underscore N where CM and CN are the curves spanned by the wires. Mu zero display style mu underscore zero is the permeability of free space four pi times ten minus seven h per meter. D x m display style d math bf x underscore m 
is a small increment of the wire in circuit CM X M display style math BF X underscore M is the position of D X M display style D math BF X underscore M in space D X n display style d math bf x underscore n is a small increment of the wire in circuit cn x n display style math bf x underscore n is the position of d x n display style d math bf x underscore n in space Topic Derivation M I J equals D E F Phi I J I J Display style M underscore I J stackrel Mathem def equals FRAC Phi underscore I J I underscore J where Phi I J Display style Phi underscore I J is the magnetic flux through the ith surface due to the electrical circuit outlined by C J I J Display style I underscore J is the current through the JTH wire. This current creates the magnetic flux Phi I J Display style Phi underscore I J through the ITH surface Phi I J equals S I B J D A equals S I times A J D A equals C I A J D S I equals C I mu zero I J four pi C J D S J S I minus S J D S I display style phi underscore i j equals int underscore s underscore i math bf b underscore j c d o t math bf da equals int underscore s underscore i nabla times math bf o underscore j c d o t math bf da equals oint underscore c underscore i math bf o underscore j c d o t math bf d s underscore i equals oint underscore C underscore I left FRAC mu underscore zero I underscore J four pi point underscore C underscore J FRAC Math BF DS underscore J Math BF S underscore I S underscore J right C D O T Math BF DS underscore I where C is the enclosing curve of C, and C is any arbitrary orientable area with boundary C. Bj is the magnetic field vector due to the JTH current of circuit Cj. Aj is the vector potential due to the JTH current. Stokes' theorem has been used for the third equality step. For the last equality step, we use the retarded potential expression for Aj and we ignore the effect of the retarded time assuming the geometry of the circuits is small enough compared to the wavelength of the current they carry. 
It is actually an approximation step, and is valid only for local circuits made of thin wires. Topic. Self inductance of a wire loop Formally, the self inductance of a wire loop would be given by the above equation with M display style M equals N display style N. However, here one x minus x display style one math bf x math bf x becomes infinite, leading to a logarithmically divergent integral. This necessitates taking the finite wire radius a display style a and the distribution of the current in the wire into account. There remains the contribution from the integral over all points and a correction term L equals mu 0 4 pi c c d x d x x minus x plus mu 0 4 pi l y plus o display style l equals frac mu underscore 0 4 pi left oint underscore c oint underscore c frac d math bf x c d o t d math bf x math bf x math bf x right plus frac mu underscore 0 4 pi li plus o 4 s minus s Display style math bf s math bf s greater than a two display style a two where s display style math bf s and s display style math bf s are distances along the curves c display style c and c display style c respectively a display style a is the radius of the wire l display style l is the length of the wire y display style y is a constant that depends on the distribution of the current in the wire y equals 0 display style y equals 0 when the current flows on the surface of the wire total skin effect y equals 1 2 display style y equals 1 half when the current is homogeneous over the cross section of the wire o display style o is an error term o mu 0 a display style o mu underscore 0 a when the loop has sharp corners and o mu 0 a 2 l display style o left mu underscore 0 a caret 2 l right when it is a smooth curve. These are small when the wire is long compared to its radius. Topic. Inductance of a solenoid A solenoid is a long, thin coil, i.e., a coil whose length is much greater than its diameter. Under these conditions, and without any magnetic material used, the magnetic flux density B display style B within the coil is practically constant and is given by B equals mu zero 
in i l display style display style b equals frac mu underscore zero ni l where mu zero display style mu underscore zero is the magnetic constant in display style in the number of turns i display style i the current in l display style l the length of the coil Ignoring end effects, the total magnetic flux through the coil is obtained by multiplying the flux density b display style b by the cross section area a display style a phi equals mu zero n i a l Display style display style phi equals frac mu underscore zero nia l. When this is combined with the definition of inductance, l equals n phi i display style display style l equals frac n phi i. It follows that the inductance of a solenoid is given by l equals mu 0 in 2 a l display style display style l equals frac mu underscore 0 in caret 2 a l therefore for air core coils inductance is a function of coil geometry and number of turns and is independent of current Topic. Inductance of a coaxial cable Let the inner conductor have radius R I display style R underscore I and permeability mu I display style mu underscore I Let the dielectric between the inner and outer conductor have permeability mu d display style mu underscore d and let the outer conductor have inner radius r o 1 display style r underscore o 1 outer radius r o 2 display style r underscore o 2 and permeability mu o display style mu underscore o however for a typical coaxial line application we are interested in passing non dc signals at frequencies for which the resistive skin effect cannot be neglected in most cases the inner and outer conductor terms are negligible in which case one may approximate l equals d l D L approximately equals mu D two pi lane R O one R I Display style L equals FRAC DL DL approximately FRAC mu underscore D two pi lane FRAC R underscore O one R underscore I Topic Inductance of multilayer coils Most practical air core inductors are multilayer cylindrical coils with square cross sections to minimize average distance between turns. Circular cross sections would be better but harder to form. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Magnetic cores. Many inductors include a magnetic core at the center of or partly surrounding the winding. 
Over a large enough range these exhibit a nonlinear permeability with effects such as magnetic saturation. Saturation makes the resulting inductance a function of the applied current. The secant or large signal inductance is used in flux calculations. It is defined as L S I equals D E F N Phi I equals Lambda I Display style L underscore S I overset underset mathem def equals FRAC N Phi I equals FRAC Lambda I the differential or small signal inductance, on the other hand, is used in calculating voltage. It is defined as L D I equals D E F D N Phi D I equals D Lambda D I display style L underscore D I overset underset mathem def equals frac D N phi D equals frac D lambda D. The circuit voltage for a nonlinear inductor is obtained via the differential inductance, as shown by Faraday's law and the chain rule of calculus. V T equals d lambda d t equals d lambda d i d i d t equals l d i d i d T display style V T equals frac D lambda D T equals frac D lambda D frac D D T equals L underscore D I frac D D T. Similar definitions may be derived for nonlinear mutual inductance. Topic. Mutual inductance Topic. Derivation of mutual inductance The inductance equations above are a consequence of Maxwell's equations. For the important case of electrical circuits consisting of thin wires, the derivation is straightforward. In a system of K wire loops, each with one or several wire turns, the flux linkage of loop M, lambda M, is given by lambda M equals N M phi M equals N equals 1 K L M N I N display style display style lambda underscore M equals N underscore M Phi underscore M equals sum limits underscore N equals one carrot K L underscore M N I underscore N here N M denotes the number of turns in loop M Phi M the magnetic flux through loop M and L M N are some constants this equation follows from Ampere's law, magnetic fields and fluxes are linear functions of the currents. By Faraday's law of induction, we have V M equals D lambda M D T equals N M D phi m d t equals n equals 1 k l m n 
d i n d t display style display style v underscore m equals frac d lambda underscore m d t equals n underscore m frac d phi underscore m d t equals sum limits underscore n equals one caret k l underscore m n frac d underscore n d t where v m denotes the voltage induced in circuit m. This agrees with the definition of inductance above if the coefficients L m, n are identified with the coefficients of inductance. Because the total currents n n i n contribute to phi m it also follows that L m, n is proportional to the product of turns n m n n. Mutual inductance and magnetic field energy Multiplying the equation for Vm above with Im dt and summing over m gives the energy transferred to the system in the time interval dt m k i m v m d t equals m n equals 1 k i m l m n d i n equals n equals 1 k w i i n d i n Display style, display style, sum limits underscore m carrot k i underscore m v underscore m d t equals sum limits underscore m n equals one carrot k i underscore m l underscore m n d underscore n overset equals sum limits underscore n equals one carrot k frac partial w left i right partial i underscore n d underscore n this must agree with the change of the magnetic field energy, W, caused by the currents. The integrability condition 2 W I M I N equals 2 W I N I M Display style, display style, FRAC, partial carrot two, W, partial I underscore M, partial I underscore N equals FRAC, partial carrot two, W, partial I underscore N, partial I underscore M requires LM, north equals lane, M. The inductance matrix, LM, N, thus is symmetric. The integral of the energy transfer as the magnetic field energy as a function of the currents W I equals 1 2 M N equals 1 K I M L M N I N display style display style w left i right equals frac 1 2 sum limits underscore m n equals 1 caret k i underscore m l underscore m n i underscore n this equation also is a direct consequence of the linearity of Maxwell's equations. It is helpful to associate changing electric currents with a buildup or decrease of magnetic field energy. The corresponding energy transfer requires or generates a voltage. A mechanical analogy in the K equals 1 case with magnetic field energy 1 half Li2 is a body with mass m, velocity u and kinetic energy 1 half mu2. The rate of change of velocity current multiplied with mass inductance requires or generates a force an electrical voltage. 
Mutual inductance occurs when the change in current in one inductor induces a voltage in another nearby inductor. It is important as the mechanism by which transformers work, but it can also cause unwanted coupling between conductors in a circuit. The mutual inductance, M, is also a measure of the coupling between two inductors. The mutual inductance by circuit I on circuit J is given by the double integral Newman formula, see calculation techniques. The mutual inductance also has the relationship M 21 equals N 1 N 2 P 21 Display style m underscore twenty one equals n underscore one n underscore two p underscore twenty one, where m twenty one display style m underscore twenty one is the mutual inductance, and the subscript specifies the relationship of the voltage induced in coil two due to the current in coil one. N1 is the number of turns in coil 1. N2 is the number of turns in coil 2. P21 is the permeance of the space occupied by the flux. Once the mutual inductance, M, is determined, it can be used to predict the behavior of a circuit. V 1 equals L 1 D I 1 d t minus m d i 2 d t display style v underscore 1 equals l underscore 1 frac d underscore 1 d t m frac d underscore 2 d t where V1 is the voltage across the inductor of interest. L1 is the inductance of the inductor of interest. D1, dt is the derivative, with respect to time, of the current through the inductor of interest. D2, dt is the derivative, with respect to time, of the current through the inductor that is coupled to the first inductor, and M is the mutual inductance, the minus sign arises because of the sense the current I2 has been defined in the diagram. With both currents defined going into the dots the sign of M will be positive, the equation would read with a plus sign instead. Topic. Coupling coefficient The coupling coefficient is the ratio of the open circuit actual voltage ratio to the ratio that would obtain if all the flux coupled from one circuit to the other. The coupling coefficient is related to mutual inductance and self-inductances in the following way. From the two simultaneous equations expressed in the two-port matrix the open circuit voltage ratio is found to be, V2 volts 1 open circuit equals ML1 display style V underscore 2 over V underscore 1 text open circuit equals M over L underscore 1 while the ratio if all the flux is coupled is the ratio of the turns, hence the ratio of the square root of the inductances V2 volts 1 max coupled equals L2 L1 Display style v underscore two over v underscore one text max coupled equals sqrt l underscore two over l underscore one. Thus, m equals k l one l two. Display style m equals k sqrt l underscore one l underscore two, where k is the coupling coefficient, l one is the inductance of the first coil, and l two is the inductance of the second coil. The coupling coefficient is a convenient way to specify the relationship between a certain orientation of inductors with arbitrary inductance. Most authors define the range as 0k. Topic. Matrix representation Mutually coupled inductors can be described by any of the two port network parameter matrix representations. The most direct are the Z parameters, which are given by Z equals S 
l 1 m m l 2 display style math bf z equals s begin b matrix l underscore 1 m m l underscore 2 end b matrix where s is the complex frequency variable, L1 and L2 are the inductances of the primary and secondary coil, respectively, and m is the mutual inductance between the coils. Topic: Equivalent circuits. Topic: T circuit. Mutually coupled inductors can equivalently be represented by a T circuit of inductors as shown. If the coupling is strong and the inductors are of unequal values then the series inductor on the step downside may take on a negative value. This can be analyzed as a two-port network. With the output terminated with some arbitrary impedance, Z, the voltage gain, avenue, is given by A V equals s m z s 2 l 1 l 2 minus s 2 m 2 plus s l 1 z equals K S one minus K two L one L two Z plus L one L two Display style underscore mathem v equals frac sm z s caret two l underscore one l underscore two s caret two m caret two plus s l underscore one z equals frac k s left one k caret two right frac s q r t l underscore one l underscore two z plus s q r t frac l underscore one l underscore 2 where k is the coupling constant and s is the complex frequency variable as above for tightly coupled inductors where k equals 1 this reduces to a v equals l 2 l 1 Display style underscore mathem v equals sqrt l underscore two over l underscore one, which is independent of the load impedance. If the inductors are wound on the same core and with the same geometry, then this expression is equal to the turns ratio of the two inductors because inductance is proportional to the square of turns ratio. The input impedance of the network is given by Z I N equals S two L one L two minus S two M two plus S L one Z S L two plus Z equals L one L two Z one one plus Z S L two one plus one minus k 2 z s l 2 
Display style z underscore mathrm in equals frac s caret two l underscore one l underscore two s caret two m caret two plus s l underscore one z s l underscore two plus z equals frac l underscore one l underscore two z bigel frac one one plus left frac z s l underscore two right bigger bigel one plus frac left 1k caret 2 right left frac z sl underscore 2 right bigger for k equals 1 this reduces to z i n equals s l 1 z s l 2 plus Z equals L one L two Z one one plus Z S L two Display style Z underscore Mathem in equals FRAC SL underscore one Z SL underscore two plus Z equals FRAC L underscore one L underscore two Z Biggle FRAC one one plus left FRAC Z SL underscore two right bigger Thus the current gain I is not independent of load unless the further condition S L two Z display style SL underscore two G G Z is met, in which case Z I N approximately equals L one L two Z Display style z underscore mathrm in approximately l underscore one over l underscore two z and a i approximately equals l one l two equals one a v Display style a underscore mathrm i approximately sqrt l underscore one over l underscore two equals one over a underscore mathrm v. Topic pi circuit. Alternatively, two coupled inductors can be modeled using a pi equivalent circuit with optional ideal transformers at each port. While the circuit is more complicated than a T circuit, it can be generalized to circuits consisting of more than two coupled inductors. Equivalent circuit elements L's, LP have physical meaning, modeling respectively magnetic reluctances of coupling paths and magnetic reluctances of leakage paths. For example, electric currents flowing through these elements correspond to coupling and leakage magnetic fluxes. Ideal transformers normalize all self-inductances to 1H to simplify mathematical formulas. Equivalent circuit element values can be calculated from coupling coefficients with L S I J equals det K minus C I J Display style L underscore S underscore I J equals D F R A C debt Math B F K Math B F C underscore I J L P I equals debt K J equals one in C I J Display style L underscore P underscore I equals D F R A C debt Math B F K sum underscore J equals one carrot in Math B F C underscore I J 
where coupling coefficient matrix and its cofactors are defined as k equals 1 k 12 k1 n k 12 1 k2 n k1 n k2 n1 display style math bf k equals begin b matrix 1 and k underscore 12 and c d o t s and k underscore 1 n k underscore 12 and 1 and c d o t s and k underscore 2 n v d o t s and v d o t s and d dots and v d o t s k underscore 1 n and k underscore 2 n and c C D O T S and one end B matrix quad and C I J equals minus one I plus J M I J display style quad math B F C underscore I J equals minus one carrot I plus J math B F M underscore I J for two coupled inductors these formulas simplify to L S twelve equals minus k 12 2 plus 1 k 12 display style l underscore s underscore 12 equals dfrac k underscore 12 carrot 2 plus 1 k underscore 12 quad and l p one equals L P two equals K twelve plus one Display style quad L underscore P underscore one equals L underscore P underscore two equals K underscore twelve plus one and for three coupled inductors for brevity shown only for L's 12 and LP1 L S 12 equals 2 K 12 K 13 K 23 minus K 12 2 minus k 13 2 minus k 23 2 plus 1 k 13 k 23 minus k 12 Display style L underscore S underscore twelve equals FRAC two K underscore twelve K underscore thirteen K underscore twenty three K underscore twelve carrot two K underscore thirteen carrot two K underscore twenty three carrot two plus one K underscore thirteen K underscore twenty three K underscore twelve quad and L P one equals two K twelve K thirteen K twenty three minus K twelve two minus K thirteen two minus K twenty three two plus one K twelve K twenty three plus K thirteen K twenty three minus K twenty three two minus K twelve minus K thirteen plus one 
Display style quad L underscore P underscore one equals FRAC two K underscore twelve K underscore thirteen K underscore twenty three K underscore twelve carrot two K underscore thirteen carrot two K underscore twenty three carrot two plus one K underscore twelve K underscore twenty three plus K underscore thirteen K underscore twenty three K underscore twenty three Carrot two K underscore twelve K underscore thirteen plus one. Topic Resonant Transformer. When a capacitor is connected across one winding of a transformer, making the winding a tuned circuit, resonant circuit, it is called a single tuned transformer. When a capacitor is connected across each winding, it is called a double tune transformer. These resonant transformers can store oscillating electrical energy similar to a resonant circuit and thus function as a bandpass filter, allowing frequencies near their resonant frequency to pass from the primary to secondary winding, but blocking other frequencies. The amount of mutual inductance between the two windings, together with the Q factor of the circuit, determine the shape of the frequency response curve. The advantage of the double tune transformer is that it can have a narrower bandwidth than a simple tune circuit. The coupling of double tune circuits is described as loose, critical, or overcoupled depending on the value of the coupling coefficient K. When two tune circuits are loosely coupled through mutual inductance, the bandwidth will be narrow. As the amount of mutual inductance increases, the bandwidth continues to grow. When the mutual inductance is increased beyond the critical coupling, the peak in the frequency response curve splits into two peaks, and as the coupling is increased the two peaks move further apart. This is known as overcoupling. Topic. Ideal transformers When k equals 1, the inductor is referred to as being closely coupled. If in addition, the self-inductances go to infinity, the inductor becomes an ideal transformer. In this case the voltages, currents, and number of turns can be related in the following way. V S equals N S N P V P display style V underscore text S equals frac N underscore text S N underscore text P V underscore text P where versus as the voltage across the secondary inductor. VP is the voltage across the primary inductor, the one connected to a power source. Ns is the number of turns in the secondary inductor, and NP is the number of turns in the primary inductor. Conversely, the current I S equals N P N S I P. Display style I underscore text S equals FRAC N underscore text P N underscore text S I underscore text P where is as the current through the secondary inductor IP as the current through the primary inductor the one connected to a power source ends as the number of turns in the secondary inductor and NP is the number of turns in the primary inductor, the power through one inductor is the same as the power through the other. These equations neglect any forcing by current sources or voltage sources. Self-inductance of thin wire shapes The table below lists formulas for the self-inductance of various simple shapes made of thin cylindrical conductors wires. In general these are only accurate if the wire radius a display style bold symbol a is much smaller than the dimensions of the shape and if no ferromagnetic materials are nearby no magnetic core 
The symbol mu0 denotes the magnetic constant 4 pi times 10 minus 7 h per meter in SI units. Y display style Y is a constant between 0 and 1 that depends on the distribution of the current in the wire. Y equals 0 display style Y equals 0 when the current flows on the surface of the wire total skin effect y equals 1 display style y equals 1 when the current is homogeneous over the cross section of the wire direct current o x display style o x is represents small terms that have been dropped from the formula to make it simpler Read the symbol plus O X display style plus O X as plus small corrections on the order of X display style X. See also big O notation. Topic. See also. Electromagnetic induction Gyrator Hydraulic analogy Leakage inductance LC circuit, RLC circuit, RL circuit Kinetic inductance